The humanitarian crisis is looming due to the ongoing insecurity in parts of Baringo County has affected people, has affected people rather flee from their homes. In Lamaiwea, that's in Mochongoi Ward, Baringo South, hundreds of families have fled their homes after one person was killed and burnt to ashes by suspected bandits. Residents are taking cover at Cap Churchill. <laughs> The current security lapse in Baringo has forced hundreds of residents to abandon their homes. In Baringo North, two people were killed at Kesumet Batabwa Road. Last week, with residents from over 300 households who fled, calling upon the government to provide food and other basic amenities. It's a drought uh, period. There are communities competing for resources like pasture and water. Baringo Deputy Governor Jacob Chopkoni called on humanitarian agencies to come to the aid of those affected in the county. We shall be able to supply food. Uh, I will ask our partners like Kenya Red Cross so that we can get some non-food items. I will also call upon other partners to come on board so that we can really reach out to those who have been affected. Chopkoni says the county government has already dispatched a response team to affected areas to ascertain the severity of the situation. The team will go to Saimosoi tomorrow to the area of Kakir, Yati and Garatuko, where families have been displaced because of the insecurity. So I want to ask our communities or who are bordering each other to really maintain peace and tolerate one another. For Prime Edition, I'm Ben Troy Jewel.